today we're making merit for a monk that's who's known by his students as Lung Lung, which means venerable uncle. He was ordained for the time when he was a novice, and he happened to meet a John Lee. He was very impressed with the John Lee. He introduced the abbot of his temple, which is one of the royal temples in Bangkok, to a John Lee, and arranged for John Fuang to teach at the temple, teach meditation, and looked after John Fuang while he was there, until the end of John Fuang's life. And then he looked after the rest of us, the students who were left without our quote-unquote father. He came here to America many times to Wat Mai Thai. It was very helpful for the Gatins and Songkran. And so we would like to think about him. He died 12 years ago. In Thailand, that's one complete cycle. But his goodness still lives. There are many things that he did for a lot of people, but in a very quiet way. They have an expression in Thai. Titong Lam Prat, which literally means putting the gold leaf on the back of the Buddha image. Otherwise, you do good, but not in a way where you're showing off. And there are many examples. One of the most interesting ones was there was a monk who was famous for taking the donations that were given to him and putting them in the fire. And for some reason, he attracted a lot of donations that way, and they all went into the fire. Lung Lung went to see him one time and said, You know, this is wasteful. That money could be used for. I know you would want to show that you're not attached to material things, but the money could be used for things like schools and hospitals. And so he talked the monk into putting aside some of their donations. Lung Lung would have, her, have make it arranged so that someone would come pick them up. And then he had, I think, 10 to 15 schools built using that money. It was all very quiet behind the scenes. In fact, the nephew of the famous monk was leery of Lung Lung, thinking that Lung Lung was somehow was siphoning off funds where he didn't know what. And the old monk had made the arrangement that even though the money came from him, he didn't want his names associated with the schools. But Lung Lung would have a picture taken of the school each time it was built and then send it to him. And then the nephew came one day and apologized to Lung Lung after the old monk had passed away. He said he found the scrapbook where the old monk had kept the, the pictures of the schools that Lung Lung had arranged. All this is very quiet behind the scenes. There was another time when we were building the jetty at Wat It was getting late one Saturday night, and Lung Lung was noticing that people were looking kind of tired and hungry. So I went down to the kitchen to see if the, the woman in charge of the kitchen had fixed some rice porridge for anybody. Well, it turned out she'd just gone to bed. So he went into the kitchen, fixed the porridge himself, then came up to the top of the hill and said, you know, they've fixed the porridge. Go down and pick it up. You can say that in Thai without telling what the pronoun is. He didn't say who had done it, because if he had said he had done it, nobody would have dared eat it. Not because they disliked him or were afraid of him, but they just didn't want to have to, the karma of having eaten something a monk had made. So he would do things very quietly behind the scenes. His goodness is goodness. It doesn't have to show off. In fact, if you're doing it to show off, that takes a little bit away. If you're doing it just for the sake of the goodness, okay, then that's genuine. So when people pass away, here it is, twelve years now, I still like to think of the goodness that they've done. That's part of the heritage that's left behind. This is what makes us human, that we have a heritage of good things that people have done. They've showed us the way. You think of the Buddha, all the different ways he taught us, everything from cleaning spittoons all the way up to gaining total freedom from suffering. He shows the way. And we're willing to listen to the tradition, listen to our heritage, and give it a good try. This is how the goodness of human beings continues and gets passed on. Common animals don't have this ability. They can pass on a few things, but not necessarily goodness. So when you think of the people who passed away, think of the goodness they've done and make up your mind that you want to embody that goodness in your actions if you can. And that's the best way of remembering them. Even better than keeping their memory alive is keeping their goodness alive. So we can learn how to stick some gold leaf on the back of the Buddha image as well. Because even though not everybody looks behind the images, there are people who look behind and they see that and they take it as a good example.